I'm warning you now. If you're squeamish, you might want to skip this one. This is a meditation. At least when it's done properly. But so is this. And this for that matter, though I don't recommend it. And this is also meditation. So what's actually going on here? Is it a frustrating waste of time or some kind of weird superpower? I spent two years trying to find the answer to that question, which is why today I'm here. This is me. I'm about to attempt meditating through eight hours of ritual tattooing. Most of this tattoo is going on in one of the most painful areas you can get inked. Before we move on, I know what you're thinking, and no, I didn't get my junk tattooed. It's not that kind of channel. The areas we're referring to today are here and here. According to inkease.com, these areas are an 8 out of 10 on the pain scale. Now, I think meditation can help me overcome that pain, but that also means that I need to run an experiment on myself. It's the one thing that helped when things were at their darkest for me. So I'm going to try to prove what meditation is capable of. Meet Perry. She's our tattoo artist and designated stabby needle person. And she is responsible for creating this. Each and every line, swirl, and pattern is gonna need to make its way from this sheet onto my arm using these needles. In theory, my job is very simple. Just meditate while getting repeatedly stabbed on every part of my arm that has purple ink. So simple. The ritual begins with fire frankincense, and a prayer, and I'm beginning to get a little nervous. I'm just now getting a full look at my arm, and God damn it, there's a lot of purple on there. The tattoo begins, and the initial pain is hard to ignore. From this angle, it looks like Perry is giving me little baby dabs to my arm. However, this is what's actually happening. A ritual tattoo also means that you generally get hand poked. That means the tattoo artist needs to drive that needle deep enough into your skin to leave that ink behind. Now take a look at this footage from Smarter Every Day. This is a tattoo gun. The gun pokes, but in order to generate enough force to puncture the skin, Perry's driving these needles into my skin using a hooking motion, which is one of many reasons why this hurts. This pain is about five out of 10, but I'm a hard pass to seven and a half more hours of this. So I start to meditate. Now the meditation I'm doing is fairly simple. Because I've been doing it for so long, it's a lot easier for me to slip into it. I just close my eyes, take some deep breaths, and relax my body. When I first started, meditation was a squirm fest. But this was before I discovered the secret to easier meditations. Whenever I'm having a hard time, I'll start breathing in and out fully and deeply. And I'll keep that up until I start feeling high. And this is working out really, really well. In fact, I lose track of time. I almost pass out into a nap. But then this bullshit happens. Perry starts tattooing the inside of my elbow and immediately the pain skyrockets to a nine out of 10. It hurts enough that it shatters my meditation and I'm not able to re-enter that trance-like state. So now I'm just here breathing and trying to tread water. It feels like Perry is snipping open my arm with a pair of scissors. Every moment feels like an eternity, and I just want to get out of here. And that's where I catch my biggest mistake. I've gotten attached to getting out of here as fast as possible, but that attachment is the main reason why I'm suffering. So I stop and accept that this is happening right now. This is how things are, and I'm going to see things through to the end. And the minute that I accept that, it's like a dam breaks. And I just start laughing. What's at play here is something known as the opposite rule. Basically, 
avoiding bad experiences is ironically a bad experience. But choosing those bad experiences gives us a chance to redefine who we are. And maybe that's the reason why I like meditation so much. It helps me weather the storm, no matter how bad it feels in the moment. Getting my inner arm tattooed was still intense as f but with the mental suffering out of the way, the rest of the session passes quickly. You did phenomenal. Eight hours of some of the most sensitive parts of the body. Oftentimes these sessions, it can tend to become a bit of a battle with the body resisting, you know, the process. I didn't have that with your session at all. You certainly earned your stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Swirl. As a bonus for making it all the way to the end, here's how the full tattoo looks. Can't believe how red my arm looks. And of course, thank you for being here. If you got something out of the video, consider leaving me a like or some of your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you didn't like the video, too bad. <laughs> to everyone else, thank you for being here. And we'll catch you next time. Peace. Subscribe for more.